All right, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, welcome to Elon University. And my name is Erica Robertson. I'm the Director of Media Relations for Athletics. And I wanted to just make you aware of how today's press conference will work. Um, we ask that all media members refrain from asking any questions until opening statements by both our Director of Athletics, Dave Blank, and our new head coach. Um, today's press conference is being streamed live on elonphoenix.com. So if you do want to ask a question, we ask that you speak into the microphone. We have some people with those around here. So just raise your hand and you can ask a question. <laughs> Thank you so much again for coming out. And at this point, I would like to introduce Elon's Director of Athletics, Dave Blank. Thank you, everybody. I can't tell you how happy I am to be here today, uh, particularly so quickly after the announcement of our vacancy. But uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, this process has been very uh, revealing about our women's basketball program. and and also about our university. Uh, anytime you engage in a national search, the things that you learn are enlightening, and uh, it's just amazing uh, the positives that are out there about our university, but also about our women's basketball program. It's a program that's got a renovated facility, an alumni gym. Uh, it's a program that's got a great commitment to academic excellence. It's one that's currently got a lot of talented young women in the program. Uh, and this is the sense of the nation. This is the sense of the people that I was able to talk with about this job uh, that basically look at all the positives that are in our program and uh, see it as a highly coveted position. I had a meeting with our team to kind of discuss what we wanted to pursue and what was important as our new head coach. And uh, some things really bubbled up quickly to the top, and I thought I would share that as well. Um, obviously, we want a leader with integrity, character, and enthusiasm, but I think the number one thing that our players wanted was a, 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 a player's coach, someone that would really relate to them and, and continue good, strong relationships and help them unite as a group. We wanted a coach who was committed to the importance of the coexistence of academic and athletic excellence, a real good fit for Elon. We wanted someone familiar with the recruiting footprint of Elon University and also the state of North Carolina and our contiguous states to keep our local recruiting strong. We wanted someone that had a background that demonstrated an ability to create a winning and successful basketball program. And we also wanted someone who has demonstrated the ability to be a positive influence and a positive role model for the young women in our program and in our recruiting. So we landed on Charlotte Smith for a number of reasons, and I'm excited to introduce her. From our conversations, it was pretty clear to me that uh, she's very prepared to become a head coach. She's played, coached, and studied the game at every level throughout her life, and has seen nothing but success at all these levels. She's a former high school prep all-state performer from Shelby High School, where she was her team's most valuable player each of her four years. She then went on to play at North Carolina where she was named the ACC Rookie of the Year in 1992. But that was just the beginning of her success. She led the Tar Heels to the ACC Championship in 1994 and 95, her junior and senior seasons. She was named All ACC, All Tournament, and Most Valuable Player in both of those years. In 1994, she led her team through the NCAA tournament where she sank a 20-footer on an inline out-of-bounds play to win the championship game in the national championship and was also named the most valuable player <clears throat> for the Final Four. And you think about that, I, I just got to go away from my agenda here for a minute. And anybody that's ever played anything, how, tell me how many times you've gone in your backyard or your driveway and played that out in your mind. <laughs> And you've all counted 10, 9, 8, 7, in something. And she did it. In 1995, she was named All-American by Kodak, the Associated Press, and the U.S. Basketball Writers Association. She was also named ESPN National Player of the Year and was awarded two ESPY awards. In her college career, she scored 2,094 points and grabbed 1,200 rebounds. Her number 23 hangs in the rafters. In 2002, she was named the ACC's 50th anniversary team as one of the top players in the ACC history, being honored as the 10th best female athlete in the history of the league. 
She went on to play 12 years as a professional, eight in the WNBA for the Charlotte Sting. She was named the 1996 Most Valuable Player in the Italian League All-Star Game, won the 1997 ABL Western Conference Championship, and the 2002 WNBA Eastern Conference Championship. During this same time, she also represented the United States numerous times on international teams and was named the MVP of the 1996 USA Basketball Jones Cup squad, which won a gold medal. She's the most decorated player in the history of North Carolina and obviously has been around a ton of success. She will raise the bar in our noon lunch games. There's no question about that. <laughs> Charlotte's also seen nothing but success as a college coach at North Carolina. In nine years there as an assistant, the teams have made nine straight NCAA tournament appearances, won four ACC titles, made two Final Four appearances, and eight of the nine times had 20 win seasons. In addition, as a recruiter, she's been part of a staff that has successfully recruited nine national top recruiting classes, according to various recruiting services around the country. She's demonstrated that she knows basketball from the highest level as a player, as a coach, and as a recruiter. At North Carolina, she's been instrumental in the development of the Tar Heel players, specifically charged with working the post players, the scout teams, and off-season player development programs. She's developed a lot of All-Americans. UNC head coach Sylvia Hatchell told me that Charlotte has a great mind for women's basketball, relates extremely well to her players, is committed to the well-roundedness of the student athlete, and is a tireless worker and recruiter. And in my many conversations with Charlotte and those who know Charlotte, there's no doubt about that. I was convinced not only that that was correct, but also that she was eager to become Elon's head coach. I firmly believe that today, Elon University women's basketball program has taken the next step to greatness. And it is with much excitement that I introduce Charlotte Smith as our women's basketball head coach. I, I, I didn't think she'd want a baseball hat. So. I'll let you hold that up. Good afternoon. Um, thank you for everyone being here to share in this special moment with me. I want to say thanks to the players, the media, the fans, the boosters, and for my family being here. I'm so excited. Um, first, I'd like to thank God for just orchestrating my life to be part of such a wonderful university full of wonderful people. When I came on my campus visit here, I can't tell you how welcome I felt. And um, when I left here, I felt such a great sense of peace about this place. And I, and I knew that this was gonna be the place for me. And um, it's interesting to see my life unfolding. And I think um, Dr. Seuss said it best, oh, the places you'll go. I think about you know being a little girl and starting in my backyard with a basketball rim nailed to a tree and doing the countdown, the 10, <laughs> 9, 8 for the game winning shot and to go from a dirt backyard to you know, a wonderful collegiate experience at the University of North Carolina to be able to play internationally, to play professionally, and now I find myself here at Elon University. So I'm just so excited to be here and I feel extremely blessed and grateful to be part of the Phoenix family. Um, I'd like to thank our president, um, Leo Lambert, athletic director Dave Blank, and our senior women's associate um, Senior Women's Administrator Faith Shear um, and the Selection Committee for allowing me to be a part of this family. And it truly is a family here. And um, I, I tell you, the Elon experience is like no other. And I mean, you just have to be a part of it to understand it. Um, when I went back, I was reading through uh, the internet just on some different information and the US News and World Report ranks Elon number one as the nation's top school to watch. Not the region, but the nation to watch. And I said, why watch when I can be a part of it? <laughs> <laughs> I 
So I'm just excited. And to the players, you know, I had an outstanding opportunity to meet with the players last night. And I just thank you guys for receiving me with open arms. Um, I am a players coach. And I just tell you that I really want the best for you guys. I've lived out what you guys dream of living of. And I just want to pour all of me into you guys so that you can live out your dreams and so that you can leave Elon saying, I had a wonderful experience. And, I, you know, I'm into developing you know, players, but more importantly, great people, because that's what life is all about. And I'm just going to make sure that I put together a great staff that reflects the um, character of the university and of the program, a staff that will work hard and that will recruit tirelessly to bring in players with outstanding character. To me, character is the most important thing, because you can have all the talent in the world academically, you can have the talent athletically, but if you don't have the character, then that talent doesn't matter because your character can't keep you there. We'll make sure that we have a great staff that will come in that will make sure that we um, find kids that make education their number one priority. I can tell you from experience that basketball is a very short-lived career, and I had the opportunity to play professionally for 12 years, and the ball eventually stops bouncing, so your education definitely has to be a number one priority. And most importantly, and kids with the heart of a champion. You know, those are kids that I want to be a part of this program, kids who want to get out there and who want to win. You know, when I was uh, recruited at the University of North Carolina, I wasn't a highly touted player. Uh, they found me as a diamond in the rough. But, you know, I was one of those kids with the heart of a champion, and you can't measure a heart. You know, so those are the kind of kids that we want to have as a part of our program. And we're going to make sure that the staff is motivated, driven, and desires to be champions, because that's what we're all looking to towards. We want to be champions on and off the court. And we want to bring a championship level of basketball to Elon University. You know, winning isn't everything, but I can tell you from experience, it sure does feel good to win. <laughs> so, um, and I tell you, it's just, it's, it's an incredible experience to win. And, and to see a program, you know, that we took from the University of North Carolina from the bottom in three years to national champions. And to be able to win four ACC championships in a row. And I have a lot of credit and thanks that I have to give to Coach Sylvia Hatchell. Outstanding woman. And I just thank her so much just for an opportunity because this is what has led me here today. So I have to say thank you for her. It's a great feeling that, you know, many people don't get to experience. And that's winning a championship. And so that's something that we definitely want to do here. And we want to do it with an exciting brand of basketball. I love up-tempo, fast-breaking style of basketball, but we want to be balanced as well. I think basketball is all about balance. You know, you can talk about wanting to be a fast-breaking and up-tempo team, but a lot of times when you get to the championship, you slug it out in the half court. So we want to be a disciplined team, an intelligent team that's able to execute in the half court and a disruptive de team on defense. You know, one of the things I took pride in was that I always got the toughest assignment defensively. And you have to have pride in defense and have to have defensive pride. So that's one of the things that you'll see. The young ladies out there just having a great time, passionate about the game, having a lot of fun and winning games. And um, I want to thank Mr. Blank um, just for this opportunity. You know, when I received that first fax, it was on Father's Day on Sunday. And um, <laughs> my wife is here. <laughs> yeah. And it was a very special moment for me because I just felt like my mom and dad was just smiling down on me on that day. And it makes Father's Day a relevant day for me. So I just want to say thank you so much for that. I will remember that for the rest of my life. I look forward to a great future here at Elon. And I'm very eager to know the campus community. Um, the Phoenix Club, and the local community. Thank you, and God bless. Go Phoenix.